Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here with the beauty of being an entrepreneur. And this is my anniversary month, August uh, is, and um, I've been in business for 22 years this, this August. And sorry, I'm just turning off my notifications. They're going crazy. Um, yeah. And I was just reflecting on, oh my God, this is why I got into business. Now, it took me probably 12 or 15 years to get there, right? To get to the life that I wanted to create for myself. When I started my business, I had to work pretty hard and I hustled and I worked long hours, probably for a good 12 to 15 years. Um, but 22 years in now, I'm thankful that I get to design the the my schedule the way I want it. Um you know, I see a lot of my friends going to like Spain and Greece and all these travels and stuff. And right now, don't get me wrong, I want to be doing that. Um, but we have two, almost three years left of high school with my stepdaughter. And so life right now is about maximizing that time, right, with her and um, making sure that I stay healthy, that Jason, my husband, stays healthy that we treat our bodies well, that we're doing good for ourselves. I'm also in a season actually of taking care of a loved one, my parent, uh, my mom, and um, she's requiring more and more assist, not just assistance, but um, companionship, I guess, and, and support. And so, you know, luckily my job, my business allows me to be able to do that. And my heart goes out to people who aren't yet at that stage. And that's where I want to really help somebody get more automated, delegated, and systematized, get more perhaps different levels of offerings so that you have more consistent cash flow. Um, so it frees you up a little bit. Yesterday and the day before, Jason and I took off uh, work because we went to, down to San Francisco. We live up near Sacramento in California. We went down uh, it's a couple hours to San Francisco to see uh, Def Leppard uh, Journey and Steve, the Steve Miller Band. And uh, I'm a rocker's chick. So just in case you didn't know, I'm an 80s rocker chick. I grew up uh, in the 80s, was born in 70. I'm 54. You can do the math. But uh, and he's one year older than me. And so I grew up with like White Snake, Dawkins, uh, Def Leppard, ACDC, um, you name it, any of those kinds of bands, the hair bands, right? I love them. Why do you think I still have big hair? I don't know. Uh, I did not change with the times. And then I, I discovered a love of country. And so I'm, I'm a rocker girl turned country, but I still love my rock. Anyways, um, I don't recommend going to see <laughs> Def Leppard in concert. Um, you know, uh, when you see the the guys that you uh, idolized when you're a kid and growing up, and even like well, two weeks ago, I would listen to Def Leppard and go, yeah. and then I went and you see them all, you know, old and gray hair in their 70s or 80s. It's like, no, I don't think I want to go to any more concerts with a 70 or 80 year olds. No offense. Some of them are good. They played really good. Just the voices were not that great. Anyways, so taking off two days to get to go to the city. It was beautiful. We got to have clam chowder at Pier 39 and hang out for the day and not hurry back. Uh, so it was luxurious. Um, and now we're going into a three-day weekend. So, you know, it's just, it, it's, I want to help people get to this stage in their business so they don't have to grind and hustle and work until wee hours of the night. They can leave the job that they, you can leave the job that you hate and save full time in your business. I have one client right now who I'm so elated for. She keeps um, decreasing her hours at her J-O-B and she's starting to feel the freedom of having her own business and she's getting the clients that she needs to sustain her income. So I'm excited. I love watching that. That is what lights me up is when a client gets that kind of freedom, sees the what is really possible, and then is hungry for more, right? She's hungry for not only more clients, more money, but more freedom with her family and more time off and that kind of thing. And uh, the same thing goes for a couple of clients I was with in Colorado this month at the retreat that I did. Um, and they helped re me rename my retreat because 
what came out of it was a total immersion of their business. Like we looked at everything. That's what I do. I look at everything that you're doing from the big picture down to the nitty gritty and everything in between and how it all flows together. Because if I just focused on speaking to grow your business or writing a book or social media or creating your courses or your products or identifying your target audience and your brand, I that would be doing you a disservice. So we have to look at all of it and how it all flows together to bring in consistent revenues and, and continuing to increase those revenues uh, as we go, right? Uh, some people come to me and say, Katrina, I can't grow too fast. I won't be able to handle it, right? Okay, and that's fine too. We can definitely go at your pace, but I mean, there's, there's way, people sometimes just don't see what can be put in place so that if you do grow quickly, you're not overwhelmed and, um, you know, and you don't have to work 24 seven. So I don't know. That's the beauty of being an entrepreneur is, you know, being your own boss. Now, if you're not a good boss, that's not a good thing. <laughs> in the beginning, I was probably not a good boss. I had to learn how to be a good boss, which means be a good person to myself. I had to give my person, I had to give myself permission to take time off, to not work from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I had to give myself permission to go and work out in the morning and to hire people uh, to do the things that I know I can do and I'm good at doing, but it's not serving me to do. And it's not the thing that where I can stay in my strategy mindset, right? Um I can't imagine dealing with, you know, a J-O-B and having to clock in, having those really unnecessary meetings. Do you remember? I vaguely remember the meetings, but those are the things that I do remember. That and the boss that said one thing and did the other and was not as supportive, even though like he liked to think he was. I mean, that my last boss was the one I told that was like that. And I told him to <clears throat> F off right? And I never looked back. I never looked back. That was my, one of my very last jobs. And um, I didn't have a plan B. I didn't, I just jumped in with two feet. Now I will tell you when I was in my jobs, <clears throat> I was a big networker in the community. So I was all over a lot of chambers of commerce. I knew a lot of people. I was very ingrained in the community. And if you have a job, I would really highly recommend you try to start that start developing those relationships and getting known in your community for the thing that you do want to start, the side hustle or the business that you want to start, even if you haven't started yet, because you need that community to be aware of you, know of you, so you can get clients faster when you do decide to leave, right? So highly recommend that. People don't wait. Sometimes they wait until they leave the job to go meet people. And you can't do that because you need a community. Same thing goes with building your email list and your database. Uh, I wrote an email about database marketing the other day because we got to nurture our database, right? So I, um, I, you have to grow your database and you have to um, nurture them. And we need to do that sooner than later because they aren't going to just buy right up, right when they meet you they're gonna ease their way into buying most likely, okay? So if you're developing a course and or a program or a workshop, or you wanna start doing something or selling something, start building the list first, even if you're not ready to sell anything. That is my advice. So um, be open to the evolution of you and your business. Uh, and if you do have a job, you're probably, people always say, I need to replace my income before I can leave the job. And that is an unrealistic expectation. Just telling you, you're going to need to make maybe a little bit of money. But then as soon as you leave the job, you have 40 hours to spend on your business, right? So to grow it and to get clients. So don't have unrealistic expectations. Hire experts to help you. Hence me, right? I'm going to help you start, grow and scale your business wherever level you're in because being an entrepreneur is the best thing on the planet. Uh, and I can show you how to set boundaries and set your priorities, um, get organized and all that kind of stuff, everything in between. So 
I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend and you get to spend time with your family. And I will talk to you soon.